the channel true stories i'm a breastfed adult what what when what let's do this hey i'm jarvis and i can't live without breast milk it's the best thing in the world if you haven't guessed i was breastfed his name is jarvis and he cannot live without being breastfed best breast fed and clearly i can't speak english and as a child I still remember waking up in the mornings and excitedly running into mom's room. I'd climb up onto her bed saying, Booby, mommy, booby, and pull back the covers to find the treat I knew was waiting for me. Every morning felt like Christmas morning. I'm not going to hold you. This story already kind of ridiculous. I loved my mommy's milk, but after my younger brother was born, it changed slightly, and I drink primarily from the left side. Every so often, I'd try the other side and tell mom it tasted different. It was like one side was banana flavor, and the other side was chocolate or something. Bro, what? Is this like a real thing for all the freakazoids that's out there that be doing this? Like, what? <laughs> banana and chocolate? I actually got into a fight with my brother over that. He said his side <laughs> tasted better, but I knew mine did. Mom had to settle <laughs> by drawing a line down the middle of her chest Bro, how old are these kids? Are they like five and six? Like, what the fuck? Making each of us stay on our own side. One night, we were tandem nursing while mom was reading us a bedtime story. When I pointed out to one of the pictures and went to say something, only I forgot I was still drinking and accidentally bit her. Ouch! She cried, poking her little finger in my mouth to unlatch me. She patted my head and said, You're a big boy now, Jarvis. You don't really need mommy's milk anymore. She reminded me that I was going to be starting school soon and asked if I... So these are like six, seven, eight-year-olds. These is not little one, little tall, like little one-year-olds. Huh? I was ready to stop breastfeeding. I shook my head with tears forming and cried, No, mommy, I love booby. Please, no. Thankfully, I love booby is she insane. didn't force me to stop. But after that, I was always careful not to talk with my mouth full. Honestly, though, I remember getting really worried in the lead up to starting school. I kept thinking that my brother would drink all mommy's milk while I was gone during the day, and there'd be no booby left for me when I got home. But my first day, just before lunch, mom turned up at the classroom with my brother in a stroller. She pointed to me and said, I'm his mom. I'm here for lunch. The teacher nodded as mom walked in, sat down, and untucked her shirt. I ran over, jumped up on her lap, and started drinking. I was so happy. I'll never forget that day. And the kids in the class did not cook you? They did not cook you after that? All right. As I got All older, right. Mom kept offering me cow's milk in a cup, but I refused to drink it. It tasted like poison to me. The only milk I drink was hers. So she continued to nurse me all through middle school. The staff were pretty supportive and even gave us a private room to use. By the time I got to high school, mom was pumping milk for me. Of course, I had drank it from a glass by then, but I wasn't sure what I'd do when I went to college. Thankfully, my older sister Amanda came to the rescue. Just before I finished school, she had a baby with her husband. So you were drinking your mom's milk? You were drinking your sister's milk? Don't you see something wrong with that? Like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. You're a freakazoid, bro. You're a freakazoid, bro. And offered to pump milk for me. Amanda was the best. So, I switched from my mother's to my sister's milk. It was a bit different at first. Uh, my sister's milk was a little thicker and tasted a bit sweeter than mom's. It was... <laughs> bro, that sounds so fucking gross, bro. That sounds so gross, bro. Like, how, bro? How did you make that a thing, bro? Holy shit. So good. Once a week, I'd stop by Amanda's place and pick up the bags of milk she pumped and kept in the freezer for me. I was in my final year of college when I decided to tell my long-term girlfriend, Janelle. We'd planned to get married after graduation and had already discussed having kids, so I knew she was keen on breastfeeding and aware of the benefits. She was making coffee one afternoon. My bro has an entire girlfriend while he's suckling mommy and sister's breast milk. I want y'all to really think about that. Like, clearly, like what? Noon, and as she poured milk into her cup, I casually said, I don't understand how people can drink milk from another species, especially cows that stand in their own poo or covered in flies and pump full of steroids. No other animal does that. 
It's disgusting. Janelle slowly put the milk bottle down on the countertop and asked, So, you don't want milk in yours? I'm not a calf. I'm a human. I only drink human milk. I said. I then went on to tell her how I actually hadn't ever stopped drinking breast milk. I really hope that she breaks up with him. I'm a hater. Isn't that a bit weird? She asked. No, it's biologically normal, I said, and explained how it only seems weird to some people because they've grown up in a culture where marketing has sexualized breasts by using them to sell cars and clothes. People forget that breasts are there to provide food. I asked if she'd let me drink her milk after we had a baby. She didn't have any objections, so the following year, when little Tyson was born, my wife took over from my sister and started breastfeeding me too. Now, Janelle pumps and freezes milk for me to take to work. Some evenings, I drink straight from the source, while she feeds Tyson. Yeah, this nigga is a freakazoid, bro. Look at He's a freakazoid, bro. No way. On the other side, the three of us are so close, and Tyson is growing strong and healthy, just like me. After all, breast milk is the perfect food for growing humans. Nutritionally, immunologically, and... Psychologically. I'm not going to lie to you. That was a crazy ride. That was ridiculous. That was actually crazy. But you already know what to do. If you made it to the end of the video, hit that like button, subscribe. And just, uh, you know, another one's in, another one coming, another one loading. Pause. Yo, peace.